Hi, it's Tim Lee here from Amplified IT, and I wanted to take some time today to explain Andrew Stillman's new Chromebook inventory script. Now, a lot of us are adopting Chromebooks in different ways, but we're not managing them within our schools effectively. And so what we can do and what the admin console allows us to do is actually go in and if we click on devices under Chrome management is we'll see all our different devices. But one of the things is a lot of schools aren't putting these under the relevant different OUs, nor when we actually click on a device, are they updating all these notes? And this is because it's cumbersome to update these individually. We have to click on each device, click on edit, and update fields like allocated user, maybe notes, and one of the things we might put in there is our asset tag, and again, locations. Who have the, where are these devices? Who has them? Are they in labs? Are they in carts? So one of the things that we can do is use a script from Andrew Stillman. And so he created this script which will allow us to manage this from a Google spreadsheet. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, we've got the instructions and we'll step through those just now and we'll look at what we can do with this tool. But one of the things is it's not only exporting this information and possibly updating this straight from the Google spreadsheet, but it's also a tool that we can use to track Chromebooks look at ones that haven't synced in some time, that are off, obviously offline. Or, again, look at ones that are not the right build number, i.e. the older version of Chrome. So what we're going to do is just walk through this step by step. So what we need to do is, again, if you do sign in with a super admin account, and we need to join a trusted testers group to get a, this add-on in our Google Sheets. So we'll walk through that now. So we're just going to click on here, and this should get, take me over to my Google Groups. Once I join this Google group, I'll have the availability to get access to the script. So once I'm in here, I'm going to go back. And what I need to do now is install the Chromebook inventory add-on. And so we're going to click on this link here. And click on this option here, which is going to give me the option of free. Now, again, you have to join the group to be able to get to, to this add-on. What will happen is it will actually install the new add-on for us and it will work in the background here and I'll ask for permissions. So we need to give it some permissions here and what it's actually asking for is for information about our Chromebooks and allowing us to manage those Chromebooks. So I'm going to click on accept and it will work away in the background and it will actually add the Chromebook inventory onto my add-ons section here. So once we click on the add-ons, we can click on Chromebook Inventory and then go over to Devices. And we're going to export our devices first. Now what you'll notice in the background here, what it actually does, is it goes up to my admin console. It actually brings down all my OUs, so I could choose just to export from a specific OU. Or also, let's say if I was enrolling Chromebooks in the last day or two, I could just go and look at certain Chromebooks. But for this demo, I'm going to exclude, or sorry, include them all. So I'm going to click on Export Sheet, and what that's going to do is pull out all of my Chromebooks. And what's really cool about this is it works quite quickly. Again, this is a small independent school that I'm showcasing this on. But what you can do it might take a few minutes longer for more devices. But as you can see here, I've got the org path that device is in, an annotated user, annotated location, some notes, and then other details about that Chromebook, the serial number, MAC address, e-tag, platform version, or also as we go further over, it gives me information such as the last enrollment date or the last sync date. One thing that's quite important as well is this OS version. But what's really nice about this is let's say I wanted to move this device to another OU. All I simply need to do is choose which OU it should be in, type in annotated user, type in annotated location, I'm just going to call it lab2, and then I'm going to put in some notes, such as test. Now what I can do, and the key thing about this sheet, is I can click on add-ons, Chromebook inventory, and update devices from lists. So what that's actually going to do is going to go up to my dashboard again and put this information on this device. And it's also going to move that device to the student's OU in the background. Now, you can obviously do a drag down. You could also, what you might be wanting to do is in your notes, put in your asset tags. And a lot of schools 
might just, when they're asset tagging them, take note of what the serial number is, or at least the last four digits of the serial number. And this allows us to connect them back to each other. And so what we can do is put all this information in here in the background, and it will automatically update my Chromebooks. So let's just look at some other things that we can actually do on this tab as well. What we could do is we might want to click on this button and choose a filter by going to Data, Filter. So one of the things you might want to do is actually go and say, hey, I want to look at all my devices and I might look at the different OS versions and say, hey, show me all the devices that are older than version 35. And what that's going to do all of a sudden is give me exactly the devices, where they are, who's got them, that are older than 35. And I might need to chase those devices down. Another option for me, right, I'm just going to go and select all here on the OS version. One of my other options here is maybe look at last sync date. And this might be as simple as sorting at A to Z or A to Z. And what I can do is I can see when the last time that these devices synced up to the dashboard. And as you can see, we've got some devices that haven't synced, i.e. brought down policies and so forth for some time. So again, it might give us an idea of devices that we need to chase down. One last thing as well, just to look here, uh, if we're looking at these devices, we can also go and look at boot mode whether it's a verified boot mode, or also maybe just tracking down MAC addresses and exporting MAC addresses. So it's up to you of how you use this tool. It's a very, very powerful tool, as you can see, but it'll also save you hours and hours when deploying Chromebooks. If there's anything at all that you're looking for, please do join our GAF admins, Google Apps community, or also contact us at Amplified IT. And again, a big shout out for Andrew Stillman for creating this script.